up guys, Dustin you here, back with the uh, Philadelphia Flyers jam mode, I almost forgot what I was talking about. Uh, so last time we did the uh, draft, we drafted some 78 overall 4.5 star uh, defensemen. We missed out on like an 86, oh, no he's an 85 or 86 player, like playmaker. It was ridiculous, there were some good players in the draft. Anyways, so the plan right at the moment is to uh, keep him in the AHL for one season and uh, then kind of see where we're sitting after that because I think he'll jump up after one year and that is only if he can play in the AHL so I'm very hopeful that the case um, I think either way even if he plays junior I think he'll still jump up but yeah I just want to give him like one season so uh, we need to uh, do some re-signing here we got some big guys to sign I think which sucks but uh we only have 12.9 million cap space. Okay, we might be in trouble here. Uh, so we got Bogosian and McKinnon and Ekblad to resign and 12.9 million dollars to use. So, yeah, we're definitely going to be in uh, trouble. How? Oh man, that's not good at all. We're going to have to get rid of somebody. Oh my god. Yeah, we're going to be screwed right now. I didn't even realize this. Um, goalies. Okay, Campbell is signed for one more year. That's good. Uh, Moody is good for another year. Mm. Yeah, we're definitely going to be in trouble. I didn't even realize we had these three big guys to sign here. Okay, well, McKinnon's first up. We'll qualify qualify these guys. Ekblad, tender qualifying offer. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I think we're going to be screwed here. 6.4, that's half our cap. <laughs> okay. Uh, so he wants 6.4. What does Ekblad want? 4.3. Oh, that's reasonable. Still, that's like $10 million. Um, and then Bogo probably wants about... Five or six. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll see what we can do here, I guess. Uh, let's tender these guys. Tender. Loughton, tender. I feel like we're going to have troubles. We, we're probably going to have to trade some people, I would think. Um, we also need to get rid of some other cap. This guy I'm not going to resign. Yeah, this sucks. Uh, okay. So let's start off with McKinnon, I guess. Okay. Oh, it says we got 15.563 cap space. Okay, that doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Uh, so 6.45 million for four years. Uh, that means, let's see if we can get them down a little bit. Three years? No, okay, that's fine. Four years. Oh, he's 21. Yeah, okay. Wow, he's only, he's only 21 and he's 87 overall right now. <laughs> that's inc that's intense. Um, okay, so 10% uh, would be 600 thou plus another 5% would be 300,000, so that's 900. So technically we can get him down almost a million. I'm going to go 6 or 5.5. Uh, 5. Let's go 5.5. I think that should work. I feel like that should be okay. 5.5. If not, we'll go 5.6. Uh, yeah, because technically that's like nine, 900,000 right there. Which is, yeah, we'll be, we should be able to get him for 5.5. I'm going to, I'm going to attempt that. Uh, we're, I'm going to just sim a day. He's our main target, and then after that, hopefully everyone else should ask a little bit less. That's the hope. Yeah, like, we do have 15-something million cap space. It's just our buyout penalty screws us up a little bit. But I kind of thought at this point the buyout would have gone down a little bit. That's what I thought, anyways. Hopefully he signs for that. That would be perfect, though. 5.5. Especially if, like, we get him for 5.5 for four years. And then he, like, he can get better, right? So, kind of lock him in. 
which probably will take us to the end of the GM. So easy decision. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we got him for 5.5. That's solid. Okay, so we got eight, eight point one ish million dollars to work with, uh, which is good because Ekblad wanted like four ish. Bogo wanted like five ish. So we should be able to get them down a little bit. Hopefully, it says we have 10 million, but we technically don't. <laughs> Um, so, I would almost think we could probably almost get BOGO down 900 as well. Because 10% would be 500,000, and then another 250, so that's... Oh, we could probably get with, get away with eight, 800,000. Um, maybe make it five po or a 4.8. Uh, yeah, let's try 4.8. 4.8 million. I feel like that should work. 4.8. Uh, cause he's almost at 4.7, so, wait, or is that, wait, what am I thinking here? Uh, 4.7 to 4.7 would be 10,000, 100,000, I think I did the math wrong there. What did I say, 5, yeah, 7.5, we'll try for 8. Mm, it'd be 4.9, wouldn't it? Because 600,000 would be 5.085 5 minus another, another 100,000 would be 4.985. Uh, yeah, let's go 4.85. 4.85, we'll try that. He also wants four years, so. Um, as well, we'll try and sign uh, Ekblad as well. Hopefully he wants a big contract. He wants a three mil. Oh, we can get him for four, and it goes down a little bit, so that's good. Uh, so for him, four hundred thousand plus two hundred thousand is six hundred. Uh, so four point two, he would be asking. Uh, so technically, we could get him down. Two hundred thousand would be four hundred, and then another four would be three point six. Three point six. Yeah, let's just round it off to three point six. Let's try to get him for that. I don't know if it'll be possible, but 3.6 should should possibly work. Okay, Simba Day here. Hopefully this works. Hopefully we have enough cap space. It'll be tight. Uh, I'm really hoping. I'm really hoping. And then the other guys are basically almost all uh, two ways. Oh, yeah, it worked. Okay. So we got 1.15. Uh, now, camp, I like like I said, there's probably guys we got to just get rid of. So Loughton, I want to keep, so we put him on RFA. That's good. Uh, this guy we can ditch. Release. Okay. Wellwood. Most of these guys should be two ways. Camp should actually be a two way. Killorn. I don't really want to keep him, he's not really that great. Uh, as a two-way forward, like, his offense and stuff isn't bad. Defensively, though, he's not what I want at all. He's not very good defensively. And he's only a three-star, so. Yeah, defensively, he's just not... He's just not worth keeping around. Um, all these guys should basically be two ways, except for Loughton. Uh, UFA, these guys we're not going to keep. Release... And cut some fat here. Release this guy, Adam Power. He's got a sick name, but you know, that's about it. <laughs> um, and then the other kid I was wondering about is if Green is going to be... Because he's 18, but he's from America. So since he's from the... Oh, no, he's Canadian, actually. Shoot. Yeah, he's going to have to play the the dub again. I think he's from the dub. I don't remember. Yeah, he's probably going to have to play in the dub because he's not... I thought he, For some reason, I thought he was from America. He's not. If he was from the U.S., he'd probably be eligible. I think as long as they're not from Canada, they can play in the AHL at 18, I think. Just the way the game works. In in real life, you have to be 19 to play in the AHL, but I think just the way this game works, if you're 18, it doesn't matter. Um, so he's going to have to stay in the uh, WHL for a season, which I think will still be fine. Like He should still jump up. Um, but, yeah, so we'll sign him. Oops. Oh, where is he? 
He's going to be a freaking stud, though. Roger Green. He's going to be freaking unbelievable. Yeah, he's maxed out. That's good. I can't go any higher, so... <laughs> Uh, hopefully he takes that because we can't really do much. Oh, Sullivan, I kind of hope he gets a little bit better. He's a four green star, so. We have a lot of good prospects, so there's no doubt about that. Uh, all these guys should basically be... Um, sorry, my phone's going off here. Oh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we should all... These guys should all be good, I think. Except for Loughton. Loughton needs to re-sign... Uh, the only thing is Loughton. I don't know if we'll be able to get him for that. Okay, these guys are all two ways. That should be good. We'll go down. Gervais is a good defenseman for the HL. What else do we got? Kemp should be a two way. Yeah, that's good. So they won't count against our capital. Uh, Axon, two way. We might need to trade. If, if there's anybody good in the free agency market, we might need to trade somebody just to free up some cap space in our one-way contracts. Uh, yeah, like all these guys are pretty decent HL players to fill the roster. Uh, Lippin. Uh, okay, so we want to re-sign Lippin for sure, yeah. Lippin. Uh, what is he? Oh, he's asking. Yeah, that's not bad. Actually, I should have signed him for more, but... Didn't think about it at the time. Uh, Gautier, we want to resign. Two years. Let's just get him for three. Then I'll take him up to, yeah. Uh, asking price seven. Yeah, there we go. And Loughton. So Loughton is uh, basically the last person we need to sign here. Asking price 1.2. And. We technically have, I wonder if you can play as long as you're within the salary cap, like the buyout goes against your cap, but I think as long as you're still under the salary cap for salary, I think you can, like for player salaries, I think you can still do it. I think. Whatever. We're going to re-sign Loughton anyways. I want to keep him on the team. Uh, so we could probably get him down about, because like 1.5 really, like we can't really do a whole lot for him. Uh, we could go for two years, and then that drops it a little bit more, but not a whole lot, really. Uh, so 100,000 would be 1.165, 1 and then 50,000, basically, puts them down to 1.15. 1 1.11 uh, 1 give or take. Yeah, that should work. Okay, now do we have any goalies? Uh, these guys are both RFAs. Jordan Binnington. Uh, I'll just tender him. This guy we don't need anymore. Release. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Uh, is there any other rookies I want to sign at all? Two and a half. Yeah, there's nobody. I think I've signed all our good ones. Okay, so let's go ahead a day here. Do 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 all right easy decision yep 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 and yep okay so everyone's signed everyone is signed we should be good here okay now since everyone's signed let's just uh, look at her thing. James Wright, yeah. Okay, so, ooh, Harding, Hiller, Pronto, top free agents. I wonder if they got bought out or something. <coughs> Alright, so, contracts. Let's see, let's look at our depth here. Okay, so, forwards. Uh, top line will be Giroud, Voracek, McKinnon for sure. Erickson, Granlund, and Wall will be our second line. Our top two lines are friggin' ridiculous. Third line, Brodziak, Simmons, we got Wellwood, we got Stoll, we got Nosad, we got uh, Loughton. I think Nosad I might keep in the AHL for one more year. I think he's a depth forward. He's a right playmaker. He's got really good stats. Like, he's almost like a Mitch Wall already. I just want him to get a little bit better. Like, defensively, I think he needs to get just a slight bit better. But, um, 
Otherwise, he's he's going to be pretty good, I think, honestly. He just needs to have another good year in the AHL, which I'll put him on the top line. So he should be good to go next year. Um, and we'll have like him probably on the third line, I guess. Oh, although his contract's going to be done, so he's going to want more money. <coughs> I really wish they would add uh, contract extensions. That would be freaking unbelievable. Cause then, and then also, you might be able to tell if they're going to get better or not. Like, a lot better. Yeah, okay. So, we got uh, Brodziak, Simmons, Wellwood, Stoll, No Sad, Loughton, Helm. Oh, we got lots of players for our lines here. Kemp, Wellwood. Yeah, like, we got we got a lot of decent guys here. Uh, Brodziak, for sure. He could be a third liner. I think Helm probably bumped down to a fourth liner I would think uh, where is Helm I'm kind of thinking is this oh you know he's a third line well we could put him on the fourth line though it's not really a not really a major thing here Loughton should be good no sad it'll be next year stole yeah so basically our Brodziak Simmons Wellwood will be like our third line I guess and then stole Loughton and Helm basically and then we got Kemp Maybe we'll put him back in the AHL for a year or something. See how he does. Kyle Wellwood's kind of just there. Uh, Freeberg, hopefully he's almost ready to go too. That's the only thing though. Like Freeberg's going to have to be re-signed. Same with uh, no set next year. All right, not a big deal. Uh, defensively, we got Bogo, Ekblad, Delzato, Fowler, Halmanick, and Brodeen. I think if we give uh, Green, this Roger Green, a year, I think he's going to be like probably in the 80s for sure I don't see why he wouldn't be I mean he's a four and a half star he's already as 78 as an 18 year old so he should be good uh Timo Aronin might actually be good to go next year as well depending or we could use him for a uh, trade bait uh Gervais doesn't matter Kessel doesn't matter doesn't matter doesn't matter uh yeah that's about it for defense though but yeah like definitely this uh, green is going to be phenomenal after this year and, like, honestly, our D isn't that bad. 86, 86, 84, 83. And then Hamannick and Brodeen. That's it's really not too shabby. I'm almost thinking Delzato and Hamannick together again. And then Fowler and Brodeen. Uh, we'll see how good Fowler's doing. Uh, or, actually, I might do Ekblad and Delzato. That might work as well. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Fowler's just... Sadly, he's just way overpaid. Uh, like... He probably will get better again. It's just, it's hard to tell, right? Like, he's a four and a half star player, so he should get better regardless. Uh, but he's just, he's five million. He's just overpaid. That's the only thing. Goalie wise, Campbell is going to be phenomenal. Moody's a great backup. I, I can't really see anything wrong with that. We should be good. Okay, so we should be good. Let's go into free agency here. Let's see if there's uh, anybody. <coughs> I don't know what's going on with my throat. It's really dry from talking, I guess. Yeah, like it says we have like 3.5 million cap space, but I'm going to say that's wrong. Hiller, Bouchard, Harding, Peronto. Okay. Yeah, like I'll see if there's any good third, fourth liners maybe. Corey Crawford's only an 82. Wow. That's ridiculous. That doesn't make any sense at all. Mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm -mm. Ah, all right. Shop at a bop bop ba da boom. Scatman, ba da ba da. I think this is the year of the Flyers, honestly. Our team is freaking looking so good. FYI, I changed our uh, trade block. Uh, <laughs> Please don't ever change my freaking trade block ever again, you douche. Uh, wants top four. If anything, I'll go for a top two defenseman. Uh, make it a little bit younger, maybe 28. Uh, low, we'll go like that. Goalie, we don't need. Top six defenseman, we don't need. Uh, the only thing I really need is a... Maybe like a third line checking, f uh, checking forward. Put that up there. Low. 
Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter who how old they are. Uh, the other thing is I want to go based on where is it? I passed the defense awareness. Minimum rating. Let's go with like eighty-five. See if we can find anybody. Yeah, like you can apparently do this and it works. So, actually, I'm just gonna really I'm gonna search really fast and see what we can find here. Minimum defense of eighty-five. I think I think there should be somebody. I mean, it's searching. So, like, if I can find two players that are like disgustingly defensive. Uh, wow, Landeskog, really? <laughs> Landeskog's a... Couturier, Shen... Uh, really? They're actually not bad for defensive? Where is their... Uh, defensive awareness? Couturier... Couturier's actually not bad again. Uh, Stafford... Bullet. Let's see what we can search here. Let's go by defense awareness. Let's see who's the top. Let's see who the do top dogs are. Top dogs. Du -du -du -du. Defense wearing 88. So we got Katuri and Atkinson. Landeskog, Boland. Uh, passing puck control poise. Dave Boland wouldn't be bad, actually. Puck control. What's, uh... Oh, stick checking, 87. What's the other stat that you look for? Oh, shot blocking, right? Mm, 87. Wow, Dave Boland. 83 third line, 2 way forward. He's pretty solid, actually. Where is he? Colorado. You know what? I actually might try and get Dave Boland. He's a pretty good player. Uh, yes, we'll do that for now. Let's see what we can get here. Dave Boland, he's a freaking stud on defense. Oh, we can actually just afford him right away, too. Okay, uh, let's see what we got. We have draft picks. That's good. What can we get rid of? I'm willing to get rid of somebody on our third line. Possibly Brodziak or Simmons. How old is Dave Boland? 31. I'm definitely willing to get rid of Simmons, Freeberg, Wellwood. Simmons wouldn't be a bad trade to get rid of because his, uh, his, yeah, but see, like, he's, his other, like, he's a two-way, he's not the greatest two-way forward because of his defense, but everything else is just so good, like, his poise is good, his skating is good, his puck skills and shooting are, like, average, like, they're not bad, but it's just, his defense is just so low, that's the only thing that, like, throws him down, I mean, Sucks, but really. Brodziak is pretty solid. Pretty average third liner. Uh, Eric Wellwood. Maybe we can get rid of him. Yeah, like even he's got. See, his downfall is like he's pretty solid. It's just his defensive awareness sucks. But other than that, like his stick checking is great. His poise is kind of shitty. <coughs> Let's see if we could figure that out. Wellwood for Boland. Cause like that would boost that would boost our third line definitely. Definitely. Actually I wonder if they can they can probably afford somebody else off our team too. Uh because we have a few third liners that we could get rid of. We got Bra Helm stole Kemp. Aronin, Wellwood. Uh, I could get rid of. Actually, let's see. Okay, what is the straight like right now? It's pretty close. Uh, 
Like they're they're pretty even, but I just feel like Bolin would be a better player for us. Honestly. Eric Wallwood, like nothing against Eric Wallwood, he's a pretty good player. It's just I think that uh Yeah, the other guy would help us out a little bit more. Zigamanis is a unsigned that they would take. That's not bad actually. Not bad. Okay, so Wellwood, Zigamanis for Boland. Uh, okay, we need to add somebody. Are these guys all unsigned? Yeah. Jensen. Abu Asali. There we go. Wellwood, Zigamanis, Abu Asali for Dave Boland. Excellent. Okay, there we go. We got our Dave Boland. That's good. Uh, surplus. No, we're not getting rid of those. Okay, that's good. So we got our third line player that I wanted. Uh, training block. We're not. We don't have any of those. Uh, Mitch Wald. Pff, hell no. First, hell no. Rickard Kerman. I'll think about it. That's possible. Let's put Bennington on there. Uh, did I? I thought I didn't resign. Oh, maybe I did. Oh no, I got him on my. Yeah, never mind. Um, but a bit of and I'll put you know what I'm gonna put Cam Fowler on there. We'll see what we can get for him. There we go. That looks pretty solid. Okay, there we go. So we picked up David Boland. Friggin' phenomenal pickup. Uh, J. P. Tree, Nathan Horton, Oya. Oh yeah. I don't think we really have cap. Well, we have a little bit of cap space, but Martinez, Ribeiro, Mar or Barbero, sorry, Barbario. Harkonnen, Bouchard, Colburn, Schmid, Spalling. Okay, uh, UFA is. Let's look for some rookies. I don't really need anything. McNabb, a little bit old. Uh, is there any goalies? Nope. There's like nothing in here. Holy crap. There's really not a whole lot of much. That's too bad. I think we have 38 players. We might be okay, honestly. Uh, let's try not UFAs. Is there any young players that... Uh, Patrick Nemeth. Tony Rajala. Yeah, like, that's not even worth it. He's not even that great. Okay. Yeah, we don't really need anybody, so... I'm just gonna quickly peek at, um our contracts here fast. I should almost be done. I'm not going to prolong it too too much here. How many players do we have? Uh, we have 39. Which isn't bad. Uh, let's see here. Let's go forward. So we got Bolin. That's good. Bolin, Brodziak, and Simmons. That's a good third line. Loughton, Stolen, Helm for fourth line. No saddle playing HL. Uh, we actually got some not bad AHL lines. I think we don't have enough players, though. No sad. So basically, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, we have enough. Uh, defense. <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, we should be good for defense. Goalies, we should be fine. Bennington and Shields. Yeah, you know what? Actually, we're fine. We don't need any players. Yeah, we're totally solid. We don't need to sign anybody. There's not really anybody worth signing anyways. Okay, so there is our re-sign and free agency. I think Dave Bolin is really going to help us on the third line. He is a pretty solid defensive player. And, uh, yeah, I think, honestly, our team has only improved, except maybe our defense has kind of been stagnant. But, uh, I don't know. I think I think we should have a good team, honestly, this coming year. So, uh, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. It means a lot, helps out, and yeah. All right, thanks for watching, guys.